Hello, it's Miranda from BritScent here. Today I'll be talking about the IELTS exam. As many of our students here at BritScent ask us when should I start studying for my IELTS and how long does it take to get a score of 6 or 6.5? In this video I'll be answering these two questions and more, so let's get started. When should I start studying for my IELTS exam? The IELTS exams are required for a few different reasons, but a lot of the time students take them so they can meet an offer from a UK university. Most UK universities ask for an overall score of 6.5, but this can be higher for some courses, and they usually set a deadline of August. This deadline makes it feel like you have plenty of time to prepare, but this time is actually shorter than you think. I've taught IELTS to many students who start off with a band score of around 5 or 5.5. On average, if these students study for around 5 to 6 hours a day, it will take them about 3 months to raise their band score by around 0.5 to 1. Of course, everyone's different, and some students will be able to improve their score more quickly than this but why take that chance? So my advice here is, if you need to raise your band score by one, then you should leave yourself around four to five months to prepare. If you get your desired score sooner than this, then great. You can prepare for university life by studying how to write academic essays or how to participate in tutorial discussions. But generally, for most students, Getting your desired score takes a significant amount of time and effort. Not sure why it takes so long? Let me explain. So, if out of all the different tasks in the IELTS, we take the writing task one as our example. In writing task one, you will have to describe and interpret different types of data representation. These different types are line graphs, bar charts, tables, pie charts, processes, life cycles, and two different types of maps. In order to feel fully prepared for each type of data representation, you'll need to practice each type at least twice. So in total, that's 16 different pieces of writing, and it's not enough just to look at model answers. You need to give yourself enough time to write your own answers and receive feedback from your teacher so you can find out where you went wrong, as well as learning new vocabulary and phrases. Even if you did four pieces of writing a week, and that's a lot, it would still take a month, and that's just for writing task one. At the same time, you also need to feel confident writing your task two essay. Do you feel confident enough after writing five essays? What about 10 essays or 20? On top of that, you also need to work on your listening, reading and speaking skills and improve your vocabulary and grammar. You also need to be able to work well under pressure since it's a timed exam. So hopefully now you know why it takes quite so long to improve your IELTS score from a 5 or 5.5 to a 6 or 6.5. Plan ahead and make sure you have enough time so you can get a higher score for that university offer. And also, just as importantly, improve your English. So please, don't leave it too late to start studying for your IELTS. If you've got an offer from university and you need an IELTS score, then what are you waiting for? Stop watching videos and start studying now!